Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. Here we are. It is a Sunday night. We are live. I hope everybody is doing well. It is the end of the weekend, and it is very close to when the markets will open up. And we're going to take a look at those markets and see exactly what they're doing. Let me get uh, everything situated here. we got a couple of minutes, so we'll kind of go through some uh, comments first and get that started here. Very good. Let's see here. We don't know. I haven't popped out the chat to see who's watching here right now. Nobody's. We got six watching, but nobody's said anything. Well, no, here we go. Now they're starting to see saying you have stamping, stacking stormtrooper instead of his usual pew, 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 pew. That's right. He likes to go to church and sit on the pews. He says, bam, Couch Potato Kennedy's was first and Guido stacking. What's up? What's going on? Tommy Gun 762 by 39 is here. Hello, Tommy Gun. Good to see you. Silver Monkey Face is here. And Step Sacker says, good morning, everybody. He just woke up, and we know that's not true because he was uh, awake at around noon or a little after for stacking uh, for International Stackers live stream from D.C. All right. Juan Ortiz is here. Pito Urro is here. Greetings to you, Len D. Hello. Good to see everybody. I got my slurping device here. Say, saying hello. Robert watches. Good to see you. All right. Let me get this uh, thing in line here situated so that it is exactly within the confines of the there we go i think that's got it all right now uh let's see what the markets are going to be doing here let's answer one comment though let's see here. sal kitties make mistakes they don't make mistakes because they're perfecto didn't you catch your mistake kitty was perfect with that silver bar video first time i've ever heard of coffee being used for industrial waste I uh, love blooper videos. Yeah, it's pretty wild, isn't it? I never heard of the coffee grounds being used to help uh, with industrial waste as well. Very good. All right. Hello, Donald in New Mexico. Good to see you. All right. All right. And V, uh, yes, V said that. And Mark Harris has purchased a five ounce Apollo at 2.5 ounces. This appears to be slightly less than the premium. Could be worth it. Yeah. Well, um, for U.S. Mint standards, this is considered a pretty good deal, I think. I've got one in order. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, but yes, indeed, we'll find out. I'll do an unboxing video when it gets here. Platinum to the moon. Yes, but platinum to the moon. There you go. Exactly. He's bullish on platinum. I may still get some more platinum in due course. I'm making a part of the gold because I, I agree with coins A to Z there. William says, Salivation Nation, you're making a mistake. You're using the wrong coffee grounds. You have to use Starbucks coffee grounds. Uh from to extract them from cesspool water. <laughs> Why? Because you must go to the dark to light and not the other way around. Can you feel a multitude of gratitude because I have the right attitude lifting me up in the stratosphere? Oh, my dear. There you go, William. Well, duly noted. I will make a note of that. Very good. Hello, Silver Wolverine. Good to see you. Here's a slurp in your honor, sir. Mm. And a slurp in Stacking Storm Trooper's honor. Oh, yeah. Uh, Second Stormtrooper's got a new webcam, and it is spectacular. It really is nice, sharp detail in it. It's a nice webcam for his live stream. Check out his channel. Super Arena says 27 Super Light. Now let's pause and go to the markets and see, because it just opened up. So let's refresh these markets and see what's happening, what's cracking in the markets. The Asian market is open there, and right now, out of the starting gate, Gold is suffering horrible losses, people. Right now, gold is taking a massive, massive hit at 0.14%, down $2.10. Oh, my goodness. The world is ending for us people, us gold bugs out there. Yes, indeed. Uh, well, you know, I'm just teasing, but the gold is down just slightly a little bit. Cheryl Lay is here. Good to see you. And Omega Shadow is here. Hello. You got a cool... Um, a knife is a gift in one of his videos. Very cool. And uh, silver's uh, moved 0.03%. Doesn't even measure on the on the scale there. No no uh, price movement there. 1718. Very good. Palladium is the big mover upwards. It's the winner of these metals now up 0.14%. Look, look at that. Nice. All right. So not a whole lot of that activity action going on there. Uh so we'll go back over here to the 
this side here and see what we can do. Stacking Nerd says, I'd like to see you switch to Monster Red Bull for a week. Oh, my gosh. You'll be bouncing off the walls. Probably have heart palpitations, too, Stacking Nerd. Hey, Coins A to Z is here. We just shouted him out just a minute ago because it's Platinum to the Moon. And actually, I think that could happen, too. I think Platinum is undervalued. So I agree with you. Coins A to Z is here with us right now. Hello, sir. Mm. Ah, very good. David Fisher is here. Hope he's wrong. Devin, going to buy more gold for sure, holding off on a silver sack for now. That's kind of what I'm doing. Although, except for very recently, Devin, I've, I'm breaking my thing. I bought a couple high premium silver pieces uh, for the collector of me. Just couldn't pass them up. We'll see. All right. Unboxings to come. Blast, says Seymour Butts. Okay. I don't know what. And then I guess he's not too impressed by this. But the Junior Smelt B rounds are available till the September the 15th. Uh, quality of silver bullion. Uh, and by the way, they've sold much, many more of those have sold than the uh, than the salivate rounds. I can tell you that. Uh, oh, uh, Devin, you want to know what kind of coffee I drink? See this little thumbnail right now, right here? Check this video here. It's called The Coffee and Silver Connection. How coffee may have saved silver. Watch that video. That tells you what kind of coffee I, I drink. Don't tell them. Don't tell them, you guys. I'm slurping on it right now. But check that video out. I think you're new here. So, yeah, check that out and you'll see. But thank you. Ozzy Alchemist, good to see you. Barbara Severson's here. Hello, Barbara. Good afternoon to you. All right. Very good. Fossil Metals, hello from the United Kingdom. And here is Pete Hansen. Wonder if anybody here pans for gold. I know somebody. Um, who pans for gold, actually, but he's not on YouTube. But there's other people on YouTube that do. If you want to see somebody who pans for gold, uh, uh, subscribe to Clash Guitars. Clash Guitars. All right. Donald likes Folgers Instance. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's move up here a little bit. Uh, we got a super like. And uh, Roy Steck says, enjoying a cup of coffee right now. Need a silver mug. Yeah, silver mug for your coffee. That would be pretty cool. All right, Silver Wolverine says in the chat side, um, there is a silver to gold quantitative tightening, closing the gap 0.03% tighter. Indeed, yes, indeed. All right. Mm. Ah, very good. All right, thank you, Super Arena, for that like. Josh Craven says, I got to have my coffee just like my silver. There you go. It's required. Hello, Bozo. Good to see Bozo here. All right. I wonder how many people are watching us. But let me see. Let me get to this window. I've got so many windows open. I can't really keep up with what's where. Uh, let me see how many people are watching. 56. Cool. All right. 56 are watching. 20 likes. That's cool. The the watch on the left less than half of the people are liking this live stream. That's good. That's good. At least it's not any dislikes yet. But of course, as soon as I say dislike, somebody's bound to do it just to be just to be, you know, a Guido. Hey, Guido, Guido's here now. <laughs> Guido, Guido stacking. Yeah, right. Hey, Timothy Whittington here is here. He's saying hello to you, beautiful stackers. He was one of one of Stacking Stormtroopers' first subscribers. Very good. Nice. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Where are we at? Coin Collecting Fun says, like 36. So cool. Thanks, my friend. This is on the Junius Mouthpiece Returns video. Good to see Softy and Cuddly Kitty Part 2. Kalanik remembered that that is definitely the second kitty at the very end of this video. If you stuck around, you will have seen the kitty. Hello, Barbara Carbone. Good to see Barbara Carbone here. Yes, indeed. Hello, Barbara. Silver Wolverine had like number 21, or should I change it to thumbs down? No, no, no. Let's keep a thumbs up. We'll be positive this time. Yes, indeed. We'll try to be positive this time. One of these days, I'm going to do the experiment, right? We're going to do a, a live stream where I'm going to ask people to not like or dislike. We'll start it from the very beginning of the live stream. And then I'll put it in the title or something. Well, that'll be an interesting experiment. DW says he's glad that Junior Smeltby is back. He was missed. Yes, he was. All right. Pump me up, says Donald in Mexico. Barbara Carbone is groovy, and he hopes that uh, that uh, Stormtrooper is as well. I hope that everybody's groovy. 
All right. Fiat Destroyer uses coffee grounds in my compost pile. Right, there you go. Nice. Very good. Lots of new faces. We got K-Pax from uh, Canada. Silver Monkey Face is here saying hello. SJ Mix Adventures is here saying howdy, howdy. Good to see you. Good to see SJ's Mix Adventures along with us. And we've got Cleo Catra here on the comments saying best part of the video starts at 947. A silver tabby with real silver. There you go, Cleo Catra. She loves kitties too. Yes, indeed. All right. Mm. Stack and Soul Trooper, you need to teach me and Guido how to do scammer calls. You know, I absolutely would do it during a show. Yes. Well, you got to get um, my, my, your best bet is to get numbers of people to get them back uh, to the people who call you. The scammers who call you try to get their cell numbers and then call them. But it's hit or miss, as you saw. Um, sometimes you can research and find other numbers out there, and then you just um, you call them up and um, you either put your phone up to the uh, microphone or call from a, from a Google or something like that, uh, Google Voice, and then you do it. And then you call them out. But really as simple as that. Sometimes you got these dialers. But yeah. All right. Very good. All right. Let's see. Very good. All right. Hey, Alan Gold is here. He says that Babs Avatar is offensive and it's uh, pornography. Oh, man. He must not be familiar with the Rolling Stones lips and tongue. All right. Little Silver comes from a bean. That's right. This Ask Silver Bean Counter. He'll tell you. Very good. Thanks, Southern Stacker. Kaylee Johnson loves Canadian geese. Uh, yeah, that's just my old. This is a blast from the past of 2014, 20 for 20 series. This is another series of way overpriced, uh, but literally it was backed by the uh, Canadian dollar at the time, at least for a while. Um, $20 for about a quarter ounce of silver. Uh, but they were fun to collect. I've got them all and in, uh, in a. Uh, in a case, they're pretty cool to have all of them. All right, very good. Silva City dude is here. Good to see Silva City. Bride of Frankenstein says Bill <laughs> Quantrill on the. Yeah, I guess it is kind of does kind of look like that. I'm gonna withhold pure judgment until the mind Rick gets in the mail and see. But you know, it's it's so obvious they could have made that look. But I look at the peace dollar as an example they could have used to really show that. Uh, the Liberty Cap with his rays coming out. Sergeant Gold is here. Ah, very good. Hello, Sergeant Gold. Uh, let's see here. And uh, let's see here. Wow, says Mark Snyder. Very good. Hello, Mr. Snyder. Like 150 from Coin Collecting Fund. Thank you so much. We're going to pause here in just a moment. We're going to get about a quarter of the way through some of these comments, and we're going to pause. Uh, Platinum's uses a hint to low price. Thanks for sharing. Really interesting. In this video, some people, I guess, has been showing up in the algorithm. We're going to get a little bit more comments there. All right. Very good. Um, let's see here. Um, Let's see. Okay. Adam Finch, I found your channel a while back through Guido Stacking. Guido, thank you. Uh, Stack, both your channels are awesome. Well, thank you very much, Adam Finch. So this is a Guido subscriber who popped in. Nice. Silver City says, activate that like button. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Fiat Destroyer is here. Good to see you. All right. We're praying for a permanent pause. Uh, what kind of pause? A menopause, Alan? All right, let's see here. I'm not sure. International Stacker. Okay, from here on out, I'm pooping in buckets filled with coffee grounds until we can extract all the silver. Help me, Uncle Sal. Huh? Well, your your bowel movements. Uh, uh, the only thing I can do with that, International Stacker, is buy you a bowel. Now, we'll buy you a bowel, but you'd have to be on Wheel of Fortune for me to buy you a bowel. How's that? And you can make it move once I buy it for you. How's that? All right, very good. Kevin W. says, how coffee may save silver? That's easy. I save all my silver in an empty plastic coffee can. Snap it, shut it, add a little duct tape, and I can do my midnight gardening. There you go, Kevin W. It's one way to do it. That's slurp worthy. Very good. 
Mm. Ah, very good. Nice. Yeah, where is Terry? Where is Terry? I want to know where Terry is. She's one hot flash away from a grenade attack. That's where Terry is, I guess. Let's see. All right. Moving on up here, Kevin W. says, nice, but I prefer to buy my silver and gold based on weight, not on hype by the federal government. They're already getting too much of my money. That's understandable. These are not for stackers, for sure. Um, I'm more of a collector than a stacker. and uh, but uh, So I just thought I'd get one to see what it's going to look like and all that jazz. Time Lord is here with a smile and a laugh. Ray H. says, I saw a video saying the, the big silver recyclers find recycling costs are cheaper than mining costs. Um, yeah, oh yeah, there's no question about that, um, especially out of electronics. It's much easier to extract it out of there than it is from ore in the ground. You know what I'm saying? All right, very good. SJ raises her hand. She's a collector. Very good. Me too. Nice. Let's see here. Step stackers, ordering burritos, who's in? Stacking stormtroopers, buying. Yeah, we should send a bunch of those international silver stacker to get those bowels moving. Max Strong is here. Hello, Max Strong. Kevin Michael says, nothing beats that first cup of coffee in the morning. It's one of the greatest pleasures. It sure is. I hope get the day off to the right start. Indeed it is. All right. All right. Yeah, Health Babe is a new show in town, Sal. You are toast. Yeah, I um, uh, she's been streaming. I saw one of her streams. She posted really late at night, but it was really cool stream. She went on for like three hours, a marathon. Crazy. Yes, indeed. I'm toast. I'm not. Uh, yes, indeed. Hmm. Ah, where do we go? Okay, let's see here. All right. Um. Esoteric 33 says, there may be religions that don't partake of coffee, but all religions love money, silver, and gold. All right, that's true. All right. She has stamina. Yes, she does. I'm already whipped out from doing this right now, putting up with you. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day. I'd say it for me. I, I ain't got the, I don't got what it takes. Going to get it out of there. Yes, indeed. Let's see here. Nice round, Sal. Thanks, Kuna Coins. Very cool. Let's see. No, three hours, Omega Shadow. Three hours. She does a lot of push-ups. Yeah, that's one thing she hasn't done that I do. Fold, Sal. I got to know when to fold them, Alan Gold. I said that when I worked at the hotel. Got to know when to do the hospital corners. All right, Stack and Zone Troopers listening, just doing stuff. All right, no worries. Cool. That's it. Coffee beans that make a great currency. Ah, yes, indeed. Where are we at? Okay, that's it. Let's scroll up here a bit more. Unaffiliated says, Sal, Sal, you've got to up your coffee game. Life is too short to drink crap coffee like Folgers. Hey, I kind of like this. I I must confess I like the black silk coffee Folgers. That's good stuff. You know what I mean? And it's Relatively inexpensive, which means that it's more money than I can spend on precious metals. All right. What is the coffee to silver ratio? Oh, my goodness. It's probably 940,000 to one, maybe. I don't know. All right. Michael Sorrell is here. Hello, Michael Sorrell. Good to see you. Infamous Stacker is here. Hello, Dr. Who is here. He drinks tea, which is really good for you. Cool topic, Sal. Thanks, Mr. Popzilla. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Child of God says, is it normal for a 12-year-old to want to start his own foundry and sell it? No, it means he's an entrepreneur. He just got to be very careful. You know, foundries have a lot of heat in it, all that jazz. Kurt White says, thank you for all the informative videos. Love, your, love the voice, too. Well, thank you. Some people don't like it, but... Uh, uh, let's see here. Um, part-time prepper says, I throw my old coffee grounds in the garden and around some new trees we planted. All doing good, just like silver. I'll take my coffee with a half shot of Kuala, um, Kahlua and cream, only when I'm not working. There you go, brother. Yes, indeed, part-time preppers. Another great channel. Uh, part-time preppers have been around a long time. 
and uh and he has great channel him and the hand model are a great team he posts some really good positive videos love part-time preppers great guy very good harvey birdman what's up how you doing good to see you indeed all right sergeant gold says the best part of waking up is terry in makeup yeah if you've seen her new profile picture she's underneath a uh um some pot leaves it's crazy but it's a good picture of her hello paduna uh padenda johnson is here hello padenda johnson good to see you all right uh, soft cuddly kitty Inglehard. there you go karis yes indeed she watched to the end very good step stacker she's naked underneath pot leaves i blew it up <laughs> cool yeah we showed it here too um spectacular you wouldn't want the silver that's been in my wastewater i promise you that that's for yeah probably not i'll go ahead and take your word for that spectacular yes indeed uh yes jay silver bravo you hit the nail on the head alan gold is my pet troll yes he is although he's been cheating on me with health babe but he doesn't troll on health babe's channel only he does on Health Babe's channel is talk bad about me over there. Of course, he makes an an un uh, un an un, un uh, what is unsubstantiated claim that I never disclose when I have deals uh, from bullion dealers if I get a coin or what have you. But that's okay. We love Alan Gold. Although I offended him big time once. Oh my gosh! I thought he was going to go insane when I with the uh, when I responded to one of his comments. I, he really got butt hurt. Oh, it was beautiful. I loved it. But we love Alan here. We've been trying to get Alan Cole to come on live, but he's just very shy. He's a very shy guy. I, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Yes, indeed. Ah. Made to swim naked, not insinuating anything. That's right, Alan Gold. Ah. Very good. Montez Family Six, that has some girth to it. Nice round. That's what she said. That's exactly right. You're exactly very good. All right. Yes, he was butt hurt. And by the way, he's got very pimply white buttocks, from what I hear. That's the word that's going around when he sits in his mom's basement, picking his pimples on his butt. Uh, let's see here. I love his rounds. Very good, Gold Maple. Yeah. You did a good job with it. All right. Yeah, there you go. No problem, Jay Silver Bravo. We have fun with him. It's all in good fun. Notice he's really quiet right now. Yeah, he's really quiet. Riot. Now. All right. He's not saying much. Oh, Alan Gold. All craps gold. We call him all craps gold sometimes. All right, let's see. All right, Dennis Southern says, the recent light on credit market crisis activities to open the door for the downward spiral of the U.S. dollar metals will explode in value, and I believe there will be a certain time when they won't be available at any price. Yeah, you know, and the thing is, is that um, people have been predicting stuff like that for quite a while, uh, but I don't know exactly when it'll happen. But see, there's a lot of resiliency uh, left in the, in, in our system um but i understand and we came very close in 2007 2008 to uh, something much worse and some people feel like it could be much worse now but we'll see but anyways all right uh let's see here what are we at okay american eagle as much as i hate to say but it looks like liberty took a headshot no i hear you brother it's i call it the anencephalic uh, Lady Liberty, because it looks like her head's missing there. It's crazy. It's insane. 37 humans in the chat. Where are all the bots? I want to know where the bots are. Nice jam. I got a shout out uh, because I don't know why I, I spoke, but no one told me they're giving me one. All right. Very good. Shout out Potter Jam. It's been a while. He's back, though. JG. Three most sexy things in the world, a hot woman laying on gold and silver. There you go. All right. Yes, indeed. 
Hey, Cyber Curtain Twitcher is here. Good to see you, CCT. A slurp of coffee in your honor. I've yet to see Barbara Carbone react to my slurping. Oh, my goodness. I must be losing my edge. Mm. Ah, yes, indeed. Yes, now we've, I think we have hurt uh, Alan Gold's feelings. He's gone now. We've hurt his feelings. He went and, and uh, is, yeah, my Russian robots are undercover. All right, let's see here. Max Strong, the link between coffee and silver is Sal slurping coffee during his gold and silver live streams. Amen. There you go, brother. You found the link. I feel I shouted because you randomly got a sub spike, not spoke. Uh, sorry, I wasn't asking for a plug. This bad word. Oh, yeah, no worries. I feel like I got a shout out uh, because you got randomly got a sub spike. Oh, cool. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Wet and wild. There we go. That's the naughty barber we love. All right. All right. Sergeant Gold is ready for gold to go back down. Want to start buying again. No, I hear you. I, I feel you, brother. I wanted, wanted to, to do the same thing. I want to go back down. Uh, because I want to try to buy some more, too. I'm trying to concentrate more on gold, although this past couple week or so, I've not done that with recent purchases. Uh, then some higher premium silver purchases, but other than that, one from the U.S. Mint. But uh, that's the collector in me. Timothy Whittington says, interesting beginning portion, funny ending, maybe too much coffee. Put some catnip in that silver near the cat. There you go. That'll get the kitty going. All right. Okay, very good. Hello, Phil Brown, Naughty Barber. Yes, indeed. Ah, yes, indeed. All right, let's see here. Ah, uh, Slurp Gang Gang. Yeah, there we go. Junius Mouthby says, Wow, Sal, muchas gracias for the shout out here. I love your work. I'm looking forward to, to being back and trying to figure out this new way to go live. Yep, I sent him an email on how to do it. And uh, thanks to Stacking Stormtrooper, who helped me, introduced me to, the, to this program here, which is called Lightstream. All right, let's see here. All right, we said hello to Food Stamp. And there's all crap gold here. Saying high quality clown. Let's go over to Alan's channel and troll a bit over on Alan Gold's channel. So he actually has some videos up. And uh, let's see here. I don't know why he's calling this Bitcoin. It's like the stupidest thing ever. It's gold there. Let me see here. I've got to go down to where these comments are. I can't see them until I... Oh, here they are. All right. All right. Let me get to where... All right. Hey, look, I didn't comment. I see I was nice. See, that makes no sense. I was being nice, but, uh, you know, I'm going to be troll-like on this one. Uh, let's see what I'm going to say. Um, let's see here. I'm going to tell him. You need to, what? Give me a. Some, I need to find something. Get back. Get back here. You. Get back here. You butt clown. There we go. There we. All right. Very good. All right. Where are we at? Uh, yeah. Yeah. He. He has a voice. I've heard him talk before. He used to talk, he used to, uh, he used to, um, um, go on the news units and you could hear him talk there, but I think those are gone now. I don't, I don't know if he might still have, you might be able to peruse to some of those. Thanks, Silver Watcher. Interesting stairs of the gold. This is a, probably one of my longest videos. No, I think I have one that's 42 minutes. Um, but uh, this video is why gold is money. It's a comprehensive analysis I posted earlier today. Gold is probably the oldest form of money and always will be money. Well, Electrum, I guess silver and gold was the first. So I guess they're both probably the same age, but silver is more widely used. But yes, indeed. All right. Hey, there you go. Northeast. I had a good weekend. I hope you did too. I did end up ordering the 2.5 ounce from the mint. 
I'll do an unboxing when it gets here. Yes, butt clown, new version of Bitcoin. Yes, indeed, uh, CCT. That it is. All right, very good. All right. Ah. It's a great vid, Sal. Seriously, probably one of the best tutorials, gold tutorials. Oh, thank you very much, Peter Ora. Appreciate it. He saw this video. Nice. Bob Sullivan says, silver tarnishes due to sulfur. So before the industrial age, silver generally stayed nice and shiny unless a volcano erupted nearby. There we go. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. All right. Ah, uh, let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. If you ask me, osmium coins would be osmium. Yes, that would be pretty osmium. It would be osmium. Yes, indeed. I see the plan words there. Okay. Oh, here we go. Silver Valley coins of bullions. Keynes was a socialist. He believed that in government injecting capital and withholding capital at different times to steer the economy. Yes, indeed. He sure was. He sure was. All right. Hello, Alan, 30189. Good to see you. All right, let's see here. Like, very good. Let's see here. Okay, Silver Valley Coins Boyan. Current gold price is 1513 uh, per ounce. Platinum is 30 times rarer than gold, but currently priced at 854 per ounce. Iridium is 10 times rarer than platinum, but it's currently 520 per ounce. Yeah, I wish I could get some iridium at that price. It would be pretty cool. Gold is recognized as a reserve by um, metal by central banks. It's about rarity. According to central banks, gold is money. That's right. That's right. All right, let's see here. Hello, Silver Picker. Good to see you, Silver Picker. Been a while. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Northeast, saw it's in the $300 price entry on the Germanium Berserk Warriors 2 ounce. Mint $4.99, too much. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I did see that one. I don't actually, that's a little bit different um, uh, piece than, than uh, it's kind of what you would find from, uh, there's another series that, the, that was done and it kind of had a similar look to it. So I think it's a little pricey for me. But I can see why some people might like it. But yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Child of God, good to see you. Yes, we uh, are responding to comments uh, verbally on a live stream. And I think I did um, respond to your comment earlier, too. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Oh, Jay Silver Bravo. Thank you so much for the super chat. Very nice. All right. He says, I learned so much about metals from your videos and just wanted to show my appreciation. My stack is growing by leaps and bounds. Well, that's wonderful to hear, Jay Silver Bravo, and thank you so much for that. It really does mean a lot. Uh, very kind of you indeed. All right. All right. Oh, it's Alan Gold came back. Oh, we really trashed you earlier, Alan Gold. You missed it. You would have loved it. Hello, NoCo Gimbals. Good to see you. All right. Good to see you indeed. All right. Doing well. Very busy trying to get back on the swing of posting videos. I understand life is kind of tough. And life is tough sometimes to get uh, back in, throws a curveball in. Fiat Destroyer, take care, my friend. All right. Alan Good should pay us all. Pilot Dude is here saying Alan Gold for president. Yeah, president of the, uh, of the Joker Society. All right, let's see here. Okay. Silver has been money for longer. Uh, well, and now, now that I think about it, I'm wondering, because I thought maybe that was the case, it has been more widespreadly used as money for longer, probably. Uh, but I think with the electrum pieces that were in Lydia, ancient Lydia, it was a mixture of both silver and gold. Yes, indeed. Hello, Coin Sense and Nonsense, out and about. Some won't chat while driving, but is watching. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh <coughs> Be right back, guys. I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back.
<clears throat> All right, sorry. I should have been prepared with water before. All right. Oh, boy. Yes, indeed. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, we don't want to be suicided. We can't have that because uh, Alan Gold is friends with the Clintons. That's right, Sergeant Gold. You got it. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Dixie Silver Miner was here. and about to give him a shout when this happened. Pilot dude. What a pilot dude ask me. Uh, Ten ounce silver coin I should buy. Hmm. Um, boy, there's a lot out there. Ten ounce. The Queen's Beast, maybe? Might be something. Um, that'd be pretty cool. They're pretty common. Or, they're, you know, recognized. There's also the, um, <clears throat> the Next Generation series from the Perth Mint. Are really cool. All right. Let's see here. Ah, oh, okay. Where are we at? Okay. Silver has been money for longer. Okay, we talked about that one. And bought a $5 gold Indian yesterday, Silver Geek did. Nice, nice uh, choice. Good coin. Let's pause right now for uh, gold and silver prices. The market and the Asian markets are open. And right now, the only metal that's down is uh, gold. It's down three bucks. Uh, and the silver's up two cents. Platinum is up a dollar. Palladium is up three dollars. Very good. All right. <clears throat> Gold is still king of the metals, except for, of course, rhodium. But yes, indeed. Very good. Uh, good info, Sal. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mark B. Appreciate that. All right. Where are we at? Rock Solid 64 says, I like Mercury because you can pay exactly and not have to make change. Just kidding. All right. Mercury, fungible, yeah, liquid. It's very liquid, isn't it? Yes, indeed, at room temperature. Pudenda Johnson, money could literally burn a hole in your pocket. Good one, Sal. Thank you. That's right. She got the joke there. Hello, Chris Garner. All right. All right, we got some lightning and thunder happening around me. So if I just cut off, that means the power went out. All right, I don't have a battery backup on this son of a biscuit. Those battery backups, by the way, those batteries don't last very long on them. So it's like, well, you know what? Not worth it. I don't have a laptop. <clears throat> All right. Gold appears to be the above the king of barter. Not necessarily always money, but gold is superior across the board in the realm of direct exchange. Silver helps with smaller transactions. But as with any exchange of goods and services, the terms of trade are relative to need. All right. Very good. Okay. Thank you for that. those thoughts. All right. Oh, where are we at? Okay. Stick with uranium. Trust to me. Yeah. Beast or kooks in 10 ounce. Yeah. Kookaburras are in 10 ounces as well. And so are uh, the Lunar Series, too. Chris, quick math. Seems like the U.S. Reserves tries to keep up about an ounce of gold per citizen. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. I never I never did the math on that. Yeah. CCT, are we allowed to do pumping on here? Mr. Vegeta has a new stock of silver testing slides just in. I just sold seven to a coin shop in the U.K. Wow, nice job. Yes, well... You know, here's the thing. If you've been on here for for um, an, any amount of time, um, um, like CCT, he can promote whatever he wants on here because <clears throat> my look at it this way, he's definitely earned the right to do it for sure. And I'll be glad to help uh, uh, promote that. He make, does a great job with his coin slides, uh, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. And so if you guys want to check it out, go to. Um, to see to Mr. Vegeta's channel or contact Mr. Vegeta and he can get you one here in the US. He is the main dealer here in the United States. Uh, Mr. Vegeta is of Cyber Curtain Twitcher's handiwork. Great stuff. All right, let's see here. David Bagley, thank you, thank you. All right. 
All right. Thank you for watching. Hello, Quickstack McGraw. Good to see you, my friend. Bill 457, when I got out of the article, is that gold is a better metal in the long run to use in electrical applications and less corrosive than silver? But silver is on top of gold to conduct electricity than copper. Uh, then gold, what I got out of the article is that for big applications like the space station, they would rather use gold and silver, but gold does make a better heat shield for me. I love gold and this great malleable metal. Yes, indeed. Well, four, five, the reason why Bill 457 is because gold is least reactive. And uh, I guess they're scared of uh, maybe some uh, tarnishing in space that could possibly have uh, an effect, whereas gold is, is less reactive anywhere space doesn't kill you shouldn't that be a number one requirement yes <laughs> you would think so i tried hi steve all right pedinda johnson i have a super pit one ounce coin from the perth mint is it a silver coin or a gold coin because uh yeah the reason why i'm asking you want to stay tuned um pedinda if you're she was in the chat side earlier but she'll want to stay tuned to my channel uh, here recently. Does she have a channel? I wonder. Let's see. I wonder if she posted a video on it. If she has a channel. Let's see. Ah. She doesn't have a video. Doesn't have any videos, but she has a channel. Very cool. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Lucas Dantes. This guy actually um, is a... I had to delete a bunch of his videos uh, because, or Vince hit a bunch of his comments because he was spamming. He put 43 spam comments, wanting, wanting people to contact him to buy, to buy gold. <clears throat> and so it was a ton of stuff. And so he was testing that to see what stuff would go through. All of his other comments got caught by the spam filters, except for that one. All right. Do you know if the Queen's Beast White Lion is coming out next month? I'm not sure. Is it going to be White Lion? Uh, that Vito Brada was a great guitar player for White Lion. When the children watch the children pray, some great, so great songs by White Lion. So I hope they do a White Lion one. That would be cool. So I'm not sure when it's coming out. It should be pretty close though. White Lion and Mortimer. All right. White Lion and Mortimer. Thank you. Very good. Cool band, too. Wait was another song. Yes, and okay, metal. Uh, great coverage. Love infographics. Fantastic. Keep up. Keep up the bros of McBrody. Gold. Yes, indeed. Thank you, metal bum. You're the man. You were the man. I just bought some pre 33s. I'm going to unbox them on a video soon. I love the Liberty Head dress, Gold Eagle. Yes. Well, congratulations. Goodbyes, my friend. Definitely one. All right. I salivate for the Queen's Bee Sal, says Peter Oro. Yes, indeed. I do, too. They're pretty cool. I'm collecting those as well. Ozzy Alchemist is walking to the grocery store as we speak. Hello, Fossil Metals. Good to see you. <clears throat> All right, there we go. This is the same one. We're going to delete this. Of course, it takes a while for this thing to actually happen. It's worth it. All right, let's see. Iron Maiden this Saturday. Stoat, cool. Silver Steeler would love to see Maiden. No name this year. Sorry, I've been a busy summer. I could not listen as often as I would have liked. Hello from Vancouver. Hello. Thank you, No Name. I appreciate it. When Children Cry. That's the song. Thank you, Len D. All right. <clears throat> Where are we? Okay. I learned more at the beginning of this video than I learned one month researching beginning of my journey. Well, thank you, Metal Bum. appreciate that. I like gold, says Goldfinger. All right. Yes, indeed. Very good. Okay. Infamous stacker. Wife's out with little trooper, but I got to go feed the tiny trooper. All right. Take it easy. Have a good one. All right. MMA matchup vocalist Rob Zombie versus disgraced former CIA chief John Brennan. 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 Gonna have to go with Rob Zombie. That's a no contest there, because disgraced is being too kind to the former CIA chief, I believe. All right, let's see here. All right, now all this time, Alan Gold has not been posting. 
in the chat because he's been it took him literally half an hour to come up with this latest slam. Sal's an outstanding teacher of stupidity. That was very clever, Alan Gold, extremely clever. And I'm even offended. Mark B says Alan Gold is really crown collector. Yeah. Yeah, crown collector got the shaft. I think he, finally he's been reported so many times. YouTube found a way to ban his IP or something, and he's not come back since. Thank goodness. All right. Metal Bomb says, when, do, when India and the middle class picks up their gold buying, it's going to increase tons. This will happen in the next decades. I'm actually buying in the ETF holding for the long run. The middle class is stepping up, and they're an industrious people and allied to the U.S. Very true. Good point. Excellent reasons to invest, for sure. All right. All right. Uh, where are we at? Absolute value. Hello, Salvation Nation. Thanks for the informative. Very informative. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Okay. Very good. Great video and great information. Thanks, Talking Bullion. Appreciate it. How do we know that there's gold in Tribulation Prepper's uh, basement? Not sure, but we found out somehow. All right. Thank you, Dixie Silver Miner. Appreciate that. And uh, check out Dixie Silver Miner's channel, too. Good stuff. We, uh, got his workshop. He does does uh, great silver art with uh, poured silver and copper as well, too, um, which is a lot harder to work with, I should note. Definitely very good stuff. All right. Yeah, so I can't wait to see what Alan comes up with next. He's a Sergeant Gold. It's probably going to take 45 minutes to, for him to think of, of his next uh, – um, insult, but we'll, we'll be patient. We'll be patient. Don't disappoint, Alan. Yeah, there we go. All right. Amazing video, gold video. Thank you, Omega Shadow. <clears throat> Appreciate it. All right. Let's see here. And uh, awesome video says Rego Silver. Thank you, Rego. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Steve Garan says they can't print gold on a printing press. This is why they hate gold. It gives you purchasing power. It's a real asset. It's real wealth. And most important, it's your freedom. Don't let them tell you gold is only a relic. This is a very evil statement. Keep your gold, uh, silver, real assets. To look at the paper currency. It's a doomed currency. There's only one way paper currency is going to go down in a final collapse. Yeah. Well, in the end, fiat, uh, paper money, it either goes away or it gets transformed into something else. And uh, I have a feeling that's probably what's going to happen with a, with a dollar here. We'll see. All right. Let's see here. Good to see Jose Contreras. What's the B90%? Not sure what that means. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wow. Thank you, Peter Oro. Appreciated that. Very cool. All right. Yeah, I tried to be informative in this video, but I have to give credit, obviously, to the uh, to the infographics, but I did have some commentary on there. Uh, Duff McKagan, uh, he's a good bass player, solid. Definitely a good bass player. Not seen many live videos of him, though. But gold still in Fort Knox, I think not. Try, try, try it. Try China and India. Well, actually, I believe it's there. I really do believe it's there. And as we saw from this, there's more of it in, underneath the Federal Reserve in New York. Dylan Fan says, your intro music, Led Zeppelin's Nobody Fault But Mine, quite apt to send a message to all who believes in AUAG as a tradition and barbarous relic. No, it is not um, It is not Led Zeppelin. Yes, indeed, not that good, but thank you very much. All right, let's see here. Okay. Twisted Clown, a few seconds in, and I know the answer. Coffee saves silver because Sal likes to slurp. Yes, indeed. There you go, Twisted Clown. You got it. You got it. Let's take a slurp right now. Where's Barbara? <coughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah, freedom of speech isn't a license to abuse. That's right. Okay. Let's see here. Paul Deitch, probably about the same as Price's coin shows, all right? All right, here's Alan Gold. This is from four hours ago, though. Unlike Gold, this pathetic attempt at literacy is worthless. Um, 
that's not what your mom told me last night. <clears throat> All right, there you go. Very good. Now, tribulation, 300 tanks and 30,000 soldiers. What a bunch of garbage. Come on, people, start using your heads. He's referring to something that was in there, but I'm not sure exactly what. All right. Don't choke. We need to, yes, I need to go, Barbara. Now that's the way. All right. Here's another cheers, too, because I could use that mouth to mouth. All right, resuscitation. Thank you very much. That's great. Now I'm, now I'm blushing over here. All right. Let's see here. Uh, he burned his hot pockets and had to restart a new batch. That's right, Jay Silver Bravo. I like that. Oh my gosh, let's see here. Great look into gold, Sal. Thank you very much, Fire Cajun. Yes, you're crude worthy now, Barbara. You have passed the test. I know, I, I know, I shan't, I shan't, uh, um, uh, offend you now. I, I won't be afraid of that. As you're cool, that's awesome. Very good. All right. Hello, Silver Heist. Good to see you. All right. Lithium uh, money. Talk about money to burn. California is too liberal to be money. <laughs> that's right. Low blood pressure. That's right. All right. Very good. All right. Now, uh, Barbara Severson says, Hi, Sal. Thanks for this video about China limits imports of gold. I thought that was kind of revealing that they're limiting their imports to gold uh, for sure. And uh, so we'll see here. All right. Uh, let's see here. Nate, oh, question regarding gifting to get around any future confiscation laws. Could you gift a family member and then gift it back to you? Would this be only useful in pre-33 gold? Uh, that is going to be a tax question. Um, and uh, I think that that is going to be probably something. We do have a tax professional here, though. Barbara Carbone could probably answer that. What do you think, Barbara? If you gift something where they hold it, literally hold it for you, and was there would any, any paperwork involved in that? Probably so. The IRS would probably need that, and then they could just gift it back to you. Um, I utilize Electrum, says Carl Electrum. Yeah, there you go. Because it's in his name. It's in Carl's name. Very good. All right. Eastern Europe salutes American silver stackers. Very cool. Rami uh, Kamzols, thank you so much. Or Romy. Very much. All right. Uh, yeah, confiscate. I think I think NATO means taxation purposes. I don't think they're going to actually tax tax a uh, ta uh, confiscate it. In fact, even if you go back with the executive order, uh, where you were required to sell, there was really no way they could uh, enforce that. A lot of people did do it because they made it worth their. Uh, Worth it. I guess they gave them, it was $21 and some odd cents per ounce. And uh, and I think they were buying them back for $35 an ounce. But anyways. All right, very good. All right, very good, Medio Man. A CBS series about George Washington. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Laveas free fade clown world loves monopoly money. Don't question the overlords. That's right, Laveas. We shan't question the overlords. We shan't do it. I don't know why I'm using shan't a lot. Shan't. We shall not. We shan't. Gold is king, says Ray Roig. Thank you. Let's take a look at the precious metal prices now. Let's see what's going on with them. Gold is taking a huge hit, people. Actually, it's kind of surprising it's down a little bit there, but down $3.40 um, after about uh, 50 minutes of being open in the markets in Asia. Silver's up, well, negligibly, not even registering. Platinum is up nothing. Platinum is up $3. So, yeah. Hello, home brew. So, we'll come back to this. <clears throat> All right, Time Lord. Great overview of this article, Sal. Top job. But I've been stacking O2 and H2O. It's a bit hard, like the only future market I can tell you. Look at water today, five eighths a bottle compared to the price 20 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, bottled water. It's crazy how expensive that stuff is. 
All right. Mm. All right, let's see here. Bruce Boyles, you can bet your butt on it. That gold is the only true money in the world. Never mind Bitcoin that goes up and down like a yo-yo. It does not have anything backing it except a bunch of uh, people supporting it, hoping it will continue to go up. That's a pipe dream and not real. Silver is also a good option for those that can't afford to buy into gold because it follows gold anyway. And it's used more and more in everyday lives. Yes, that's right. I think generally I do agree with that. And Bruce Boyle for sure. Uh, Bitcoin is still in the speculation phase, I think, for sure. Yes, the stock market's overreacted like it usually does. Good point, Silver Wolverine, I agree. Eric, our resident bouncer, is here. All right, good to see you, Eric. All right, let's see here. All right. Sean Smith, don't forget the... Anunkai ancient aliens made us to mine it for them, so we kept using it as high value after they left. Yes, that's, that's the real reason. That's the real reason indeed. All right. As we scroll up the comments here, Left Chris says, that's a good, great video with great information. Thank you, sir. means a lot. Appreciate that. And uh, Lexi... Pose your lies. Well, good fakes and essay cards, easy to test out of the card. Gold plated titanium is a problem. Uh, actually, gold plated titanium would be very easy to uh, discover because titanium is extremely light metal. You probably meant tungsten. All right. Let's see here. Ah. Gold, cool video as I learned many things here. Thank you, Vogus. Um, for vein of gold and silver. All right. That's great. Wet star is a, is a great for wet slurps and dribbles. Barbara Carbone's profile picture. Yes, indeed. Pilot Dude needs my expert advice on what? Invent right now. Original holographic Charizard Pokemon card. There you go. Yeah. V-E-B-A, go for it. Yeah, I think give it a shot. Entrepreneurship, I'm always for entrepreneurship. Good stuff. Canadian $100 gold coins made after 1986 are composed of 58.33% gold and 41.67 silver. That fits into the definition of Electrum. Wow. Now, that's cool, Medio Man. That would fit into that definition. Wow. I'll have to look those up. That's awesome. All right, great video, Sal, says Eric. Reminds me how I want more gold and haven't the funds to get it. Now I hear you, brother. I'm sorry. Hope you can get some soon. Hope the price goes down. Oh, silver impregnated water filter. Very good. All right. Nice CCT. Um, and what he does to, you know, and see, here's the thing with CCT, all right? CCT, Cyber Curtain Twitcher's channel, is centered around... Uh, it's centered around, um, you know, fake silver and destroying it and testing silver. He sends us some video on testing silver. So what he's going to do, he's going to get a pregnancy test to make sure that the water filter has indeed been impregnated. All right. All right. Let me make, oh, let, let me know when you dribble and I'll clean you up. Oh, wow. Well, thank you, Barbara. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. I need all the help I can get. All right. Pilot dude smells the filth. Very good. All right. No promises. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Um, Bozo is happy with the silver to gold ratio of my stack. I'm still looking for unobtainium. I heard it was just a bit out of reach, Bozo, but I could be right or I could be wrong. I'm not sure. You may be wrong, but I might be right. Didn't Billy Joel say that? Timothy Whittington says, ha ha, kicking it back to the old school. Your radio voice seems to have less salivation in it. Cool, man. Well, thank you. Yes, very old school indeed, that video. Thankfully, not many people saw it <laughs> from a long time ago. Jade Nefrighty says, regarding 1028 using electrum for coins from 1878 to 1880, the U.S. men experimented with goloid and only consisting of 3.6 gold. 87% silver and 2.5% copper, which has been patented by Dr. William Wheeler. Uh, Galoid alloy is used by the U.S. Mint to strike pattern coins called metric dollars. Interesting. Which are stamped with this metal alloy composition weights 
and the coin's total weight. However, at the end of the experiment, the Lloyd alloy was rejected as a coiner's metal because its color could not be visually distinguished from the standard U.S. Mint's 90% silver coin alloy without performing a metallurgical er assay. Uh, if Galoid had been implemented, this would have been tempted counterfeiters to use cheaper silver, mm -hmm. copper alloys with no gold, or less of it to make lower fake copies of the metric dollar. Yes, I see the, um, I see the, uh, the uh, vulnerabilities there. Thank you for that information. That's really cool. All right. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> oh, had to watch this for the second time, too. Thank you. All right. A little embarrassing. I keep them up there. I told Indian and Chinese culture tradition, the sons of male heirs would inherit land and real estate property instead of it being inherited by the daughters of the family. The surname of the family is passed on throughout the male lineage. Daughters of the family were expected to be buried off to the sons of other families. The dowry of the bride would typically include gold, gems, and jewelry for her. During the wedding ceremony, the bride would be adorned in her magnificent of gold and gems and jewelry. Uh, the gold gems of jewelry because inheritable property of the wife and then to her daughters. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's see here. Where are we at? Gold standard is coming back. No, no. I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. That's for sure. Uh, let's see here. There are alloys of sterling silver much less prone to tarnish, but they never caught on. Okay. Yeah. Nomadic diesel, I don't see Bitcoin or other cryptos in the periodic chart. Ha ha. For that reason alone rules them out as money. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Ah. Down on New Mexico. I sell buy all the gold you can before the central banks buy it all. That is such a great reason to rationalize your gold stacking. I don't hear much about silver reserves. What have you heard about that? Thanks. Well, they used to have strategic reserves, especially during the nuclear uh, age when they built up. That's why the United States have had silver reserves. We sold them all. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just too uh, cost. It's cost prohibitive to store it uh, in the amount that would be uh, needed for stuff. And besides, it's it's silver so widespreadly used right now, and for the uses that were around back then, we don't need it as much now. In gold, Mr. Sting says, is gold too high for little guys to even been playing with? Uh, let's see here. I don't think so. Because um, you can buy some pretty good deals for quarter ounce gold for not a whole lot over spot. Check out some deals on eBay and also from um, uh, Stacking Nerds channel. Walter Gomes. I got 6000 spent on metals. But the question is whether I should buy gold or silver. So what do you think I should buy? I would buy, if I were you, I'd buy just, to, if they want to do the safest bet, I would get um, uh, more gold than silver. I'd probably spend about, I'd probably spend about four grand to five grand on gold and the rest on silver. If you think, if you think there's potential for silver to really close that gap between gold, then I would, even at that case, I would probably do half and half. But that's just me. All right. Down in New Mexico, at max copper trade dollar, 1850 PR, uh, 65, 55,495. Maybe we should all stack copper. Maybe so. Crazy. Got to go to dinner uh, done between thunderstorms. All right, take care, Bozo. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, indeed. All right. Hey, Sal, I'm trying to be nice. I have to correct you because I believe you're very sadly misinformed. Twice you said that gold is naturally forming occurring metal. I did let it go the first time, but I can't let it go the second time. Gold comes from exploding suns. It is, it is not, nor will ever be naturally occurring on Earth. I'm not going to use your word idiot as I respect you, but come on, man. Uh, please apologize as other misinformed are just as uneducated as you. Please do some homework on the subject. Thinking this so much, don't take it personal. Well, it does sound like it was a pretty uh, jab uh, by getting your crap together, what have you. It's, it is in the, it is, 
However, it was formed from the beginning of time. It is in the earth now. In other words, it's naturally occurring. And uh, so in other words, it's in the earth. A lot of these things, if you want to, whatever you believe, uh, nothing on earth is natural. You, by your definition, the nickel in the ground, copper, anything else, all that stuff came from something else. If you believe in the Big Bang Theory, then that means that it is from there, uh, formed on this planet. I never said it was formed. It was just occurring on the planet. Uh, let's see. Again, you're just admit you have a lot of that. To learn is good. Pick the path. Ho hopefully, we'll come back to this one and say that to, to, to hear me, my response. But, you know, they, yes, it came from the stars or what have you. I'm not saying it's grown, but it's naturally occurring. Um, in other words, you, you, you dig it out of the ground by the ore and it come from the stars. Well, everything on the earth came from the, from something else. You know, the earth was, uh, was compiled, they say, from other asteroids and stuff coming together or what have you, depending on how you believe, uh, how far back you go in time. Uh, metals don't grow. No one ever said the metals do grow, Matt. So uh, you got to stop putting words in my mouth, brother, and you got to be a little more respectful. Um, I'm not going to call you a liar, but uh, um, we all have a lot to learn, but I'm sticking with my original uh, uh, assessment here. And you're just bringing up a technicality that, of course, they come from other stars or what have you um, originally. But they're in the ground now, Matt. We're not seeing stars raining down gold from outer space, are we? So there you go. We all came from something. And yes, your words, I agree with Barbara. You're a little bit, you got a little bit triggered there, brother. So I would encourage you, Matt, take a deep breath, pal. Take a deep breath and come back. Uh, and. Um, and uh, not get so triggered next time. Ozzy, I'm on a quest, Sal. Alchemy is alive and well. Send me your plastic water bottles and glass beer bottles. I'll turn them into silver and gold. Got any scrap metal? Take that as well. There you go, brother. Now, too, maybe, maybe gold does grow from other metals. There you go. Exactly. All right. Uh, let's see here. Yep, let's see. That's, that's right, Eric. It's not man-made. It's versus lab synthesized elements. They're exactly. Let's see here. Press one for tricky. Yeah, where's tricky guy? Where's tricky? Press one for tricky guy. Hash glass. Every time I open my box of gold, my eyes light up. Shiny goodness. There you go. All right. Yes, indeed. Remember, hash. They come from the stars. If I don't say they come from the stars, oh, I'm just I'm just an ignorant fool, I guess. See below, says Matt Lang. Not a single ounce of gold has ever been formed here or will ever be created on planet Earth. Please apologize. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. All right. <clears throat> All right, Matt, you got to come over here. And listen to my response, being fake news, good grief. All right. Well, Matt, I might just lose a subscriber for being triggered, but oh, well, that's, that's going to be his loss if he leaves. I guess it's hard to believe that people get so worked up over things, over small little technicalities like that. It's crazy. I made up my mind. I am now buying only gold, only buying gold, straight hustler. Well, and that might not be a bad move considering uh, if, you if you feel like you have enough silver. Indeed. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right. Let's see here. Eugene Lucuro, it's pass on the gold, but the silver medal, I think, is way overpriced. It's not a coin. It's a medal. I wish they would have done a coin instead of a medal, maybe beginning of something to come. Well, Eugene, yes, the, the, uh, the gold is definitely overpriced. And the silver one is, too, if you're a stacker. If you're a collector, it's probably not a bad deal. Um, considering it's from the U.S. Mint, the U.S. Mint is pretty, um, um, U.S. Mint's pretty pricey anyway when they sell things. But a lot of the, for the commemorative coins, some of that does go for surcharges and the like. But uh, the reason why it's not a coin is because that would take an act of Congress. These things were created um, based off of, a, uh, of an act of Congress. All right. Peter Oro, love the yellow stuff. Even more proof for everyone here. That's why gold uh, is literally in my name. Very good. Thanks, Peter Oro. Yes, indeed. Just make sure that you should. Now, Peter Oro should change his name 
in order to please Matt Langstreet to Peter Oro from the stars or else, you know, there's going to be Oro is going to be, you know, made to think that it grows on earth and just grows like plants. I'm the opposite of allergic to gold. Hey, me too, Fiat. I'm attracted to gold. Yes, indeed. All right. All right. Uh, let's see here. Toshio Aikin says, thanks for the reminder on how awesome gold is. When he used to play Dungeons and Dragons, I love the electric pieces too. Very good. Me too. Yeah. And you, if you get really good at playing Dungeons and Dragons, you could be a tricky guy, tricky guy, tricky guy. Yes, indeed, Toshio. You very well could be. Silver Steeler says, I'll have to wait for the ratio to come down some before I get more gold. Gold is money. History and present times prove it. Nice fit, Uncle Sal. Well, not only is gold money, a silver stealer, but if I don't say that gold is comes from the stars, then I'm just promoting fake news. And we can't say that. Uh, we cannot say that. We, I got to make sure to include that in everything. Mr. Sting, is demand and rise in silver prices the outcome of the high prices of gold and its unaffordability with most of the average buying public? Uh, I don't know. Is, um, I think part of partially, I think it's more speculation in the paper markets right now. Uh, but it's starting to pick up a little bit. I believe it's starting to pick up because more people are watching our videos now. So people are getting a little bit alert to it, even though really it's not a huge climb in silver prices. I mean, essentially it's a dollar or two from the last couple of months. But uh, we'll see here. All right. Okay. Philip Inman says, coffee grounds to free filter silver. Sal, that's a pretty huge stretch there, partner. Maybe at a silver mine wastewater runoff location will you find enough silver to filter. Never, ever from regular wastewater besides my garden needs my coffee grounds. Well, um, Philip, um, yeah, there's two different things here. On the industrial scale, which is what this video was about. But if you look back, there's an older video that I posted that, uh, that um, talked about that there was a study done where it was out of wastewater, uh, I would think residential, especially because a lot of clothes and things like that have little silver microfibers in them. All right, Health Babe is here. Hello, Health Babe. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. She's mastered the live stream stuff. What do you sulfur do you use, uh, Health Babe? I'm curious. I, I don't know if I asked you in a response to a comment, but I forgot to check to see if you replied. But you know which, which software, because I don't think it's, because you're able to have multiple guests, I think, too. All right, let's see here. All right, let's see here. Hookers are gold pumpers, <laughs> silver heist. Ah, let's see here. Let's see if there's any more comments, and we'll take a look at the... Uh, All right. Phil, Kevin W. says, few have gone to the ocean depths to bring up fiat dollars. However, you will always find a treasure hunter who risks life and limb to bring up silver and gold. That is really all you need to know. Funny Keynes never acknowledges. But what would you expect from a socialist? That's right. Exactly right. I agree. All right. Let's see here. All right. All right. Let's take a look at the markets right now. All right, still not much going on in the markets. There's been little movement. Well, let's look at these. And uh, is Aussie still here? Let's look at the Australian dollar. Now we're seeing some movement in Australian dollars. Uh, let's see. Gold is down seven dollars and forty cents to two thousand two hundred twenty-four dollars in Australian dollars. Did uh, Tricky Guy notice that I said Tricky Guy three times? <laughs> earlier all right so again silver's down one cent in australian dollars to 25.31 running obs okay oh you can have guests on obs i didn't know you can have guests on obs that's wild huh let's see here silver and platinum is up a down a dollar ten the only thing that's up is palladium in australian dollars all right. Oh, very good. Thanks, tricky guy. All right, tricky guy, tricky guy. All right, he noticed. All right, OBS plus Hangout. What? 
I thought Hangout was was uh, done away with, Health Bane. Sell everyone's name three times. Barbara Carbone, Barbara Carbone, Barbara Carbone. Tricky guy, tricky guy, tricky guy. Health babe, health babe, health babe. Silver monkey face, silver monkey face. M nice, M nice, M nice. That's going to take a while. Silver heist, silver heist, silver heist. Donald, 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 Donald. Uh, let's see here. U.S. dollar. Not much going on. Let's see here. More comments here from the peanut gallery. Yeah, let's see here. <clears throat> That's been a tune, uh, tune for optimization. But how do you get guests on OBS? I don't think OBS did guests. And uh, and how about um, Hangouts? Very curious how you get Hangouts to work. It's interesting. But I can have one guest using this platform, but it was the stream itself. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I'm not sure how you invoke guests on that. Uh, let's see here. Because I've got this hangout or this live stream portion here. I don't see the way you can invite guests. But anyways, let's see here. I must be missing something. But anyways, thank you. No worries. All right, uh, Meat Man, Meat Man. Hello, good to see you. M. Nice, good to see you, my friend. Jim Farrell, good to see you. All right. Uh, you invoke guests by saying their name four times. There you go, Sean Smith. Exactly. That's all right. Thumbnail, sticky fingers. Yeah, sticky fingers. Have you StreamYard? You can have multiple guests on StreamYard. I've heard of StreamYard. Yeah. Silver Reaper, hello. HB is invocative. Invocative. Drop the towel. Google unloaded all their heavy lifting on us by um, obsoleting the live stream using Hangout. Hangout still available. That's what I don't get. If it's still available, how did they uh, unload the unload the using Hangout? Because you can't pull do Hangouts on air anymore. But anyways. That's something we'll have to study, apparently. Well, the one thing, too, is OBS is sort of... This little thing I'm using is a much more lightweight. OBS is kind of uh, intensive. But, uh, yeah. I can still have one guest, which is good. So that'll be good. All right, let's see here. Groovy. All right, let's see. We need a bunch of Allen Gold rounds so we can let them and make salivate metal around melt them yeah there we go mark b all right melt them and make salivate metal rounds out of the allen gold rounds very good idea very good idea let's see here let's see if any more of the comments we'll look at the markets not that there's much to look at it's kind of relatively flat here ramsey says there's no god i am him who If there is no God, you are he, him. Well, if you're God, then that means you don't exist. It's not straightforward. And look at, and it took me a day and a half to figure them all out. Now I have to work in recipe and it works great. Just need minor tuning. Very cool. Well, congratulations. Definitely on making that work out. Health, baby. I think it's great what you're doing. I'm very cool indeed. All right. Let's see here. We're back. Let's pull this. Boomer Tech. What are the markets doing now? Nothing. Markets aren't doing a darn thing. Relatively flat. Ramsey's here. Is Ramsey not, doesn't exist because he's God? I don't know. All right. Epstein. Epstein. Yes, indeed. Meow, meow for health, babe. Kitty, kitty. All right. Night all dinner time for Silver Heist. Yes, indeed. Yeah, it's getting a little bit later here, too. I'm probably going to be saying goodnight here pretty soon, too, if I can try to find, unless I can find, uh, by some chance, a way to call some scammers that are probably aren't going to be available anyway because it's Sunday night. They won't answer the phone. 
these idiots don't answer the phone on Sunday nights. So and I'd love to call them if they would answer. And they don't. Let's see here. Hmm. Are we at? Nope, nothing there. Nothing there. I go to one other. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Let's see here. Don't rush the bums. Don't rush the bums. <clears throat> Let's see here. Trying to find something from numbers here to call. Let's see if we can do it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. No, that's not going to work. Okay, here's one. Maybe we'll try this. Let's see if this works. Scammers like car salesmen never open for business on Sundays. That's right. Exactly right. Wow, interesting on hold music. This call is in regards to refunds or cancellations for your basic premium or business plan, which you have with WordPress.com. Please email at help at WordPress.com. Otherwise, please stay on the line. Thank you for calling WP Official Support Helpline. Please wait while we that connect might be, you with... That might be legitimate. That might be legitimate. Let's see here. Oh, a Nigerian scammer. Let's see here. Uh, all right, let's try this. This might be a Nigerian scammer. Let's see what this says here. New way. That's my number. 8675309. Hello. Please state your name after the tone and Google Voice will try to connect you. Sam. See what this is about. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Okay, let's try another one. We'll try another one here, tech support. Let's see here. All right. There's a tech support scammer. All right. Let's try this. Hmm. The person you are trying to reach is yeah. not available. Please leave a message. The voice. Okay. Let's try this one. One of the interviews with the big guys. They were cool. Yeah, we might be doing. We might be doing another one. Interview soon. Follow up interview. We'll see. Fossil metals. Eighteen. Are we trying another one? All right. All right, hello, Spectacular. He made it. Doing great. By the way, Spectacular uh, did a cool little news, morning news.
thing um, uh, uh, last week. It was really cool. Morning news is spectacular. It was awesome. All right. It looks like these aren't working. Let's see here. Try one more here. Let's see if this works. Not much luck here. Hello, Randy Laundry. Good to see you. All right, let's go back here. Find another. Hmm. Nope, no luck. We try one more source here. We'll do two more tries, and then will that be it? All right, let's see. We'll try it here. Crank up the sound next time. All right, very good. Let's see here. Ah, uh, no luck. We'll try this one. Well, no. Yeah, some of these you don't know for sure if there's scam. All right. Yeah, people are bailing out. I don't even know how many people we have in here. We got uh, 63. All right, and 76 likes. That's good. All right. Yeah, let's see if there's any more comments that are refreshed here and uh, see what we've got going on here. All right. T. Norman, coffee and silver, two of my favorite things. Nice report. Like the Engelhard bars and displayed as well. well. Thank you so much, my friend. Very cool. He's got to love coffee. It does seem to go synonymous. A lot of people like coffee here. Here's a slip of some water because we're done with the coffee, but. Mm. But it's good stuff. Good stuff indeed. All right, there we go. All right, guys. Well, very good. Very good indeed. Um, appreciate y'all. Call Terry. I wish we could call Terry. Where's Terry? She's, I think she's mad at me. Terry must be mad at me. That's the only reason. I can only explain why she's not here. Don't know what's going on. Yes, indeed. But we made Barbara Carbone happy. Yes, indeed. Very good. Ah, invite a guest to have some coin talk. Uh, yeah, yeah, we could, we can do, yeah, let's invite a guest real quick here. We'll do it for a little bit here. Uh, let me see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this link. Uh, and when I do it, let's see here. So health babe, if you want to pop in here, this is light stream. We can do that. We'll have a little discussion. That'd be fun. Let's see here. Okay. Now, when you come in, I've got to figure out, i got to remind myself how to make you come live here or be live here. And uh, so I'll be able to hear you in here, but we won't be able to hear you until I make you go live. So we'll see here. Uh, having a sale on Gold Lunar Series. Is that the proof stuff, Chris Garner? Are they having a, 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 a sale on proof stuff? Very cool. Because they're getting ready to come out with the with the Series 3 per, uh, lunar stuff soon, I think. So let's see here. We've invited someone else. Okay, so somebody else can, can take it in. Anybody else want to pop in here? It would be a good experiment. Barbara, you want to swing in here from that link? Or anybody else want to pop in here with that? We'll give it a shot. I just have to um, figure out how to actually make it go live. Let's see here. Again, because I've only done it once, and I did it with um, health pay. All right, night, CCT. Sleep well. Thanks, my friend. It's already Monday there. Quarter ounce lunar gold coins. Okay, Chris Garner. Very good. Uh, spectacular. It's what I'm using. It's what uh, others are using too, but Health Babe's using uh, OBS, but she found a way to use Hangouts, even though I thought Hangouts was gone, but it's complicated. 
but this is the easiest and most lightweight way to do it. There's another uh, program as well that involves um, that involves um, multiple guests too. But uh, yeah, but it puts a but that program I forget the name of it, but it puts a uh, a watermark, a big fat watermark. All right. So no one's gonna come in, so that's all right. Well, and I probably should head out anyways, but we'll do it. We'll do it next time here. Sergeant Gold uses get together. Hmm, interesting. Yes, all right. Free version of OBS allows six people. I just haven't figured out how to do that. Silver Steeler, is it Streamlabs OBS or OBS? All right. Sergeant Gold made that up. Okay, yeah. All right, no worries. All right, guys. Well, uh, since no one's uh, uh, taking the bait here to come on in, we'll go ahead and um, and uh, say good night. Let's see here. But I appreciate you. Appreciate you guys popping in. We had a good night tonight. And uh, hope you all have a wonderful evening and a great week ahead. We'll be back here Tuesday for regular live streams, but I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude, y'all. And uh, keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground. All right, very good. Have a good night. Oh, okay, all right, Health Babes, we're going we're gonna to hold on a second. We're not leaving quite yet. Health Babes, she'll, uh, she'll pop in and um, and for a couple minutes. All right, Chris Garner says, but just for the proof lunar monkey. Yeah, sometimes they do that, and maybe bullion dealers are doing that. Perth Mint themselves probably... Well, they may have sales probably if they have a whole lot of them in stock there from the Perth Mint. But I think you have to buy four hundred dollars worth from them directly in order to get uh, to get them to get free shipping. I'm sorry, to get free shipping. All right, so we'll wait. Health Babe's going to pop in here in just a few minutes, and we'll just for a test. I can't be on too long, much later either. So, but, but uh, we'll we'll talk to her for a little bit and. Uh, Yes, indeed. We will do that. In the meantime, we are going to. Now, when she comes in, we'll be able to. All right, take care, Medio Man. When she pops in, I'll be able to hear her, but you won't at first. Uh, let's see how many people are watching. Only 49 are watching right now. <clears throat> let's see here. I right, take care of Silver Monkey Face. Everybody's everybody's uh slipping away from us now. Okay, let's see here. No new comments. And nothing new in the markets. Silver's up one cent. Now now silver's flat again. Health babe, all right. On the personal website, and it was only on sale for getting rid of their stock. Okay, cool, Chris Garner. Did you take advantage of it? Um, did Chris get any of those quarter ounce uh, proof monkeys? All right, Neil A just got here. Tricky guy is going to be the 82nd thumbs up. Thank you, Tricky guy. Very cool. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, if you guys want to thumb up this video, I won't be opposed to that, really. ASL Monty, what's the price of tea in China? Okay, found out today and it's too late, says Chris Garner. Okay, 83, very good. All right, still here, says Quick Stack. We're waiting on health, babe. Barbara, it just disappeared. Let's see here. Up to 85. Likes. Very cool. All right. So Health Babe, when she pops in, she is going to uh, actually be able to see me, which is weird. Because you can't turn off the webcam. Uh, let's see here. So in the green room, when it pops in there, uh, 
I'm just looking at, okay. And Talking Bullion is here. All right. Very cool. Good to see Talking Bullion. We're just waiting. Uh, we're waiting for uh, Health Babe to come in. I think she was eating. Yeah, no, Barbara. I've not found a way to do that on here. There's no mute for webcam on the internal side. So I've got to kind of point it down. Which means she's going to see my manly chest. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm not kidding. All right. Um, uh, well, talking bullion, um, she, um, is kind of rushing to finish up. We'll kind of wait on health, babe. If, if health, babe is okay with it, we'll have you come in if you want. I can only have one guest at a time, but, uh, um, we're going to see here when she comes back. If she, oh, here she's back. Okay. She's going to say, here it is. So health, babe, you still have, okay, here's the link again. All right. There we go. All right. And uh, let's see here. So she, she's going to pop in. You won't be able to hear her first. And then I've got to figure out how to make her public. Yeah, no worries. Talking boy. And yeah, she was going to test for me. But thanks. We'll have you on. We'll have you on though some other time here. Talking boy. And I appreciate it, my friend. Definitely. Sergeant Gold is going to make like a shepherd and get the flock out of here. Well, better to do it like a shepherd than, than a flock of seagulls. Wow, we say. Have a good night, Sergeant Gold. All right, we're waiting on health, babe. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, so far, I don't see her on my windows here. Popping in. There she is. All right. Now, she entered the room, and I can add her to the scene, but I can't. Let me see here. Send a live, okay. I've added her to the scene. Her Hello, all right. I'm gonna send you to live here. All right, now can 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 you hear me, health babe? Can you hear me, health babe? Hello, can you hear me okay? Yes, can you hear me and can everybody else hear her okay? Let's see here. I'm, my microphone's active. I guess Health Babe can't hear me. Can you hear me? Uh, join. What is this? Um, Hello. I guess she can't hear me. I've added in, in the. Uh, can Can you guys hear me? Okay. I can't yeah. hear anything. Barb. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, everybody else can hear us. Uh, every, every. No, I can't hear Sal. Barbara, I can't hear Sal. All right, let's see. So you got to find a way to hear me. That's strange because I'm. Okay, that's fine now. That's fine now. Oh, okay. You can hear me now? Can you hear me? Yeah. Health Babe, can you hear me? I have to listen to it through the uh, live stream. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. There's, there's there a setting in there to um um. Um, not. Okay, here we go. I think I had to. Yeah. Now, now it's okay. Now, okay. I think yeah. I, uh, on my end, I had to actually join in the green room, which is very strange. Right, right, right. It right. allows you to do that, and that way, and that's why. That I can't, uh, let me see here. I can't. Uh, yeah, I was waiting for your activation, basically. So that's why um, in the standby mode. Okay, yeah. All right. So this thing, apparently I have to join in even though I'm already here. It's pretty strange. But anyways, well, very good. So that's a learning experience. Um, okay, that good. There. And I'm trying to think if there's a way to for me to turn off my camera. Uh, it should. At, do you see the icon at the bottom? That's like a uh, that's like a sidebar, horizontal sidebar at the bottom of the page. Well, that's on your yeah. side. My side looks completely different than your side. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And so this green room now people can't see what you're saying. Um, you can tape it, right? Just oh yeah, tape I, could, it. I could tape it, but I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can, you know what, shove your camera um, in front of, um, you know, something. 
Yeah, I could just. That's a fast way. Yeah. But then uh, the, the mic. I don't know. I can I can turn off my camera, no problem. So. Yeah, yeah, and, and on your end, you can do that. I'm trying to find see where. Yeah. Oh, mic. just unplug the cord. Just unplug the cord. Yeah, but then but the but the but the, the the webcam acts as a microphone too. So if I unplug it, then I won't be able to. Uh, yeah. But anyways, that, that's okay. good. Yeah, yeah, but this works out great. Everybody can hear us both, which is which is awesome. And uh, now yeah, you're getting a lot better. You know, you know what you're doing. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and a lot of it is thanks to uh, a stacking stormtrooper kind of helped to help me uh, okay. navigate this. But a uh, health babe, this is a live light stream is a very lightweight, it's a browser-based platform. Yeah. And, uh, but you're using OBS, right? You're it's, using- uh, Is it me or you and out? Uh, it sounds like it's, to me, it sounds like it's you going out. Let's see here. Hmm. It's going in and out on, uh, it's ever yeah, darn, yeah, that's kind of weird. Not sure what's going on. We've lost health, babe. Apparently. Oh my god! It's, oh, it's like an alien talking right now. So <laughs> yeah, well, I sound like an alien talking, and yeah, it did, it did on your. It may be my connection. I'm not sure. Okay. But everything. Oh, uh, yeah, Barbara. Oh, oops! It says the guest has left the room. Okay, well. It looks like it looks like it's <laughs> that's crazy. All right. Well, um, that's weird. It looks like looks like it get kicked out. Looks like it kicked her out. That's crazy. And this may be the this may be the uh, shortcoming of this platform too, because last time we had health babe, it did the same thing. It kicked her out. Um, uh, I wonder if um, if talking. Uh, talking bullion is still here. Uh, maybe one might try him. Just to curious. Wheel of death on her side. Okay. Let's see here. Drop babe. That is crazy. All right. So you're back in. She's back in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Let me, I can hear you. Let me add you to the scene. Yeah, it just kicked me out, you know, for some reason. Uh, let's see here. Send the link. All right, now, now, well, it looks like we got. Um, <laughs> we just can't have multiple <laughs> guests. But Mark, you have to turn off your play side. We'll we'll send you to live after you turn off your play side. On the play side, mute that, and then say something before we get you on. Okay, yeah, I am here. Yeah, you're here and you're live. Mark B just joined in. Looks like we can't have multiple guests, which is good. Mark oh, B, okay. Mark B, let me know that you're here. Oh, that's good, Tess. Yeah. Uh, Mark B doesn't appear to be. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Mr. Sting 17, I don't see his face. He's wearing a nice green shirt. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, uh, and I don't know which one is which. To, to uh, that popular, that's not Australian. This is British. I can't, I can't really tell you what exactly it said, but it's a British accent. I can tell you that. That's great. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Health Babe is British. Don't you guys understand? Yeah, that's right. That's a good British accent. Very good. <laughs> oh, all in go is funny. <laughs> I <Yeah>. can't melt him. <laughs> Mark B is drunk. He's not saying anything. He's in the room, but he's not saying anything. Let's see. No, all in go is so funny. Hi, Stacking Nerd. Hey, Stacking Nerd is here. Hello, Stacking Nerd. Good to see you. I think so you can get Mark B in. Yeah, he's in here. He's just uh. All right, good. Oh, there you go. That's you guys, you can get three people. But I'm trying to add him to the stream here, and I, I uh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna adding you in. Okay, very good. No. Yes, you muted the video, so now you're both in. Now let's see if uh, if everybody can hear everybody. Everybody, so Mark B, say something. Hello, how you doing? Does everybody <laughs> hear Mark B? Yeah. 
Does everybody hear Mark B? Yeah, I hear him. Yeah, let's see if everybody else does on the chat side. Yeah. Might take 30 seconds for them to answer. Okay, Barbara says we can hear uh, Mark. Very good. Yeah, and so that's good. We, nice. That's good. Now, this is great. We can, we can, uh, everybody can, can hear everybody and see everybody. Alan Gold, oh boy, up in here. Alan Gold, it's Sunday night. You're not, you're not working. There it is, Alan. All craps gold. Let's see if we can get somebody else in here. Let's see if all craps gold can come in. All right. Or Barbara, but maybe Barbara can come in. Barbara Carbone. Let's see here. So I can see your blue shirt. Nice. You like it? It's yeah. all new fabric right here. Hi, right. Health Babe. Mark B says hello to Health Babe. All right. I'm sorry. Health I think it's the uh, it's my it's my connection problem again, probably. Yeah, I just she just left. It no, I'm out. here. I'm still here. Okay, you're still here. Okay, is Mark I'm here? Because I I I heard like bunch of alien talk. I don't know if it is on my side or your side. I don't know. So yeah, I don't know. Oh my gosh, crazy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not dressing properly, says Barbara Carbone. Oh, my goodness gracious. All the more reason to get it. Health Babe got kicked out again. Maybe it is your connection. I don't know. But your, but your live streams, Barbara, I mean, Health Babe, are pretty uh, consistent, right? Talking Bullion, do you want to try to come in? Here it is, Talking Bullion. See if you want to pop in. We're able to have multiple guests, it looks like. We'll do this real quick, and then, and then I'm going to probably um, head out after this. Okay, I can see the live stream now on this uh, light stream. Okay, cool. All right, awesome. Very good. So you're still here, Mark B. Awesome. Yeah. We're going to see if we can get Talking Bullion to pop in here. Hello, Jimbo. All right. Very good. Nice. So I don't know what happened with Health Babe. It must have been, but your connection's fine, Mark B. You're not. Okay. Everything. okay. Everything's just different from when I've uh, talked before. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a completely different platform now. Yeah. Sure is. Yep. All right. But it looks like two or three people can join in. Yeah. Uh, now on, on this side, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete. Uh, I don't know what. Um, I can't see. Uh, let's see here. Guest microphone. Okay, so can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Are you back? Uh, here? I'm gonna see if you're. Yeah, I, we, I can hear you, health babe. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah, it's just something weird. Anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> And it's a clear Tricky. connection. Tricky guy. Hmm. I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, like the I I notice uh, different software. They have they require uh band, different bandwidth. You know, for your for the live stream. Because I know uh the local live stream. You know, it takes a lot more uh, power and uh, I mean like the, uh, the electricity and processing power to do the job. So right. Hey, here's Talking Bullion. Yes, we can hear you. All right. And we've got, uh, yeah. uh, let me uh, let me put you to live here. Okay, so now he's in there. Now, this is his icon, because that's a, so there we go. All right, Project is yeah. There we go. Very good. So now. Yeah, there you go. Nice. So, so, Barbara, you can hear me okay? Oh, you guys can hear me okay? I can hear you real good. Yeah, we can hear you. I don't know. On my side, it's like an alien talking for some reason. It really? just doesn't make sense. Can you hear yeah. me, Barbara? And if you guys can hear me, okay. And uh, I just, I don't understand this. So You're coming through loud and clear, help Dave, on my side. Nice. I don't get the... Uh, 
luxury of seeing sale though. I, I just I just put a piece of plastic over my uh, thing or a piece of over I can't turn uh, the camera uh, off. See what I'm uh, saying? That's all right. I didn't want to Nothing. I didn't, to, I didn't want to have to go to therapy anyway, Sal. So yeah, that's right. Exactly. You don't need therapy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Well, this is cool. This is, yeah. oh, babe. Thanks for um, you know, for doing this. And, and everybody. Um, now it looks like we can have multiple guests, so we can have these conversations more often. This is great. So, so Sal, is this a paid version or is this a free version or what? Free version. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Free for all. Yeah. It's called Lightstream. Right. Yeah, I looked for Lightstream. I had to I had to look for Go Lightstream because Lightstream came up with uh I don't know loans or something. So I'll type in Go Lightstream if you're interested in searching for it. Go Lightstream? Go G O, yeah. Like your uh link oh. is Go Lightstream. Okay. Wow. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll check it out. Nice. Well, I'm glad this worked. I, I really appreciate you guys. And actually, I'm going to probably be heading out of here now. But uh, we'll we'll do this. Uh, we'll do this as a specialized, um, um, you know, maybe just do a hangouts or whatever, whatever it's called nowadays. Or I guess the special live discussion, and we'll we'll just uh, invite. So maybe we'll have you guys back, and we can actually talk uh, silver, gold, and and all kinds of stuff. It'd be great. Sounds great. Yeah, but I appreciate you guys. A multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. And remember, this is the sagest advice you'll have all week. <laughs> and keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for those coffee grounds. All right. All right. Take care, Sal. Take care. Take a squeezy. See you later. Yeah.